Hey everybody, welcome to another Horizon Forbidden West uh, strategy guide. I'm going to show you a really dirty, sneaky, underhanded, and super cheap way of beating the arena on Ultra Hard and beating it with the um, locked loadout challenges. I mean, obviously the other ones are not really too difficult because you can enter them with any weapon and gear you want and it, you know, it's infinite. And so you can take care of all of those, but the locked loadouts are a different matter. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go on ahead and we're going to get into the arena and we're gonna do Apex Predators because you know, that's the hardest one. And this is an ultra hard. Well, I can prove that to you easily because you can see that there's no difficulty setting. So we're on ultra hard. And we're gonna head on in there. Let's take a look at our outfits. We'll get that look applied. That's what we're here for. The champion, um, all four of the champion challenges are not locked, so you can get in there with any equipment you want. And obviously, if you got the smoke bombs, the stamina potions, and the legendary um, weapons and outfits maxed out, you're going to slay those uh, challenges. I mean, they're not easy, easy, but you know you can brute force them. But they're not brute forcing this guy. You're not brute forcing Apex Predators. Um, you can see the difficulty there also is ultra hard under the leaderboard. So let's get going. So the way to do this um, is you're going to get on up there. You're going to hop up there using some uh, glitch jumping. Step on here and then we're going to jump up and use the shield wing jump. And what the shield wing jump is, is you basically mash the X and square button at the same time. That'll break out your shield wing and it will also give you an extra height on the jump. And then you'll jump on that little platform over there and get all the way up. And then you're gonna meet the invisible wall. You're gonna get out the invisible wall. This is basically what you do to escape the arena, okay? And uh, you can look up you know, some other YouTube videos, even my own, to see how to do that. But it's the hardest thing to do because uh, the minute you get up there, these guys are gonna be aware of you and because they can't actually physically hurt you, the only thing they can do is to shoot their projectile weapons at you. And unfortunately, on ultra hard with an apex synergy doing homing lasers, it will kill you very quickly. So be aware of that, use smoke bombs if you can. And, um, you know, use your, um, use your berries and things like that because you're gonna need it to survive. Okay, so I'm gonna be quiet now because you're gonna fail quite a while, quite a couple times trying to escape before you get killed. And I'm going to probably splice my successful run because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna die a couple times trying to do this. So here we go. Okay, so we're out. Look at these lasers. It's continuing to follow me. That is insane. All right, so let's go over here. We're gonna get a brace shot, all right? And then we're gonna go to our um, sharp shot bow, whatever you wanna call it. First step, let's drink our overdraw potion. And then let's figure out where this guy is. You can highlight all of his um, vulnerable parts to make it a little bit easier and then as you can see they can't really get you so all you do is you just you just take pot shots at them you know
they're actually not really meant to fight you from below. And so all of their lasers and their projectile weapons can't really get you. So all you gotta do is just do this. If you wanna mix it up, you can also do a brace shot. All right, nothing to it. Wait for your stamina to regen. Give you another one. You can drink your stamina potion to replenish it. If he's far away, just do that. So as you can see, you gotta be careful because you gotta make sure that he's within range. There he goes, let's drink some more. He's just a sitting duck out here, so yeah, it's not really much to this. The hardest part again was actually getting to the top here without getting killed by him. Let's do another little one here. Again, this is, you know, just keep going at him until he dies. You can drink some health potion just to make sure you're good. The main utility of hitting the weak spots is just do more damage, but eventually you are going to get them. You have plenty of time, obviously, to do this. Uh, you're out of ammo, so be sure to give yourself some more. Even if you don't get the tail or whatnot, I mean, you're still going to do quite a little bit of damage. Anything that's highlighted is gonna be fine. Uh, don't forget to do a brace shot if you, oh. Also, uh, be careful about that. They can still kill you from above, obviously. I mean, eventually you are going to get him. All right, he's dead, see? So now all we have to do is figure out the um, Scorcher, which there's really not much to him either. You just keep getting at him. He will get you, just get at his weak spots. I mean, just be careful. He does do those little mine, whatever you call those things. So, you know, that is a concern, but let's just be honest. Uh, there's not much to this, right? I mean, you can also just brace shot him if he's too far away from you. Just go back and forth. He's not quite as quick when he's damaged to this extent. There you go. So, as you can see, you did it with plenty of time. I think it'll show my uh, time at the end. Uh, I got, what, five minutes? So you had two minutes and 30 seconds to spare, and certainly, um, and I, I wasn't playing super well. You can see that the um, difficulty is ultra hard, and, you know, there you have it. So, it's cheap, not terribly exciting. 
But if you don't want to mess around with doing it fair and square, then this is the way to do it. Um, get up there, use your smoke bombs, use your berries, uh, try not to get killed by the thunder jaw before you slip through that invisible barrier. And then just come back and kill them from above. Um, they're all kind of the same. I mean, the Tremor Tusk uh, is the same, the Dreadwing. They're all very similar uh, because once you get up there, there's that invisible wall and there's a lot of cover, obviously, behind there. You're going to be able to avoid all of their attacks. And with the weapons they give you, even with a locked loadout, um, the weapons they give you, you're going to be able to essentially um, pot shot them uh, with whatever you have and do enough damage to kill them. It's usually not too bad. I think the one with the least amount of time is the dreaded encounter and give you three minutes. But even that's a lot of time because you just have to kill that Dreadwing. And once you ice it down, you start doing the, you know, Regina strike through arrows and all of this other stuff. You have focus shot as well, I believe. Uh, you'll kill that Dreadwing awfully quick. And once you kill the Dreadwing, the only thing left will be essentially, you know, the, the two little anteaters or whatever you want to call them, the spike snaps, right? So, so I hope you found that somewhat useful, um, and until next time, do take care.